Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Love and Hate series by Ella Mays and I have a 5 star read so I'm really excited to be talking about this book. So the series has two books, To Love Jason Thorne and To Hate Adam Connor. This book is about Jason and Olive. So Jason is an actor and Olive is an author as you can see by the cover of this book which is very pretty by the way. Jason is also Olive's childhood crush since he was a regular visitor in Olive's home because Olive's brother was Jason's best friend but when they meet as adults fake marriage happens and they fall in love so it is a really swoony romance and it's not just a good story it has a lot more the media the cons of being a celebrity good spice and all of the good tropes that you can imagine so this was a really nice read even the Olive and her best friend Lucy's relationship is so fun to read like their moments together as friends and how they talk like best friends do so that was really refreshing and the ending of this book was really nice it got me teary eyed but for the good but there were some things that did bother me so I'm gonna talk about those now so Jason being older and Olive's brother's best friend he calls her my little one and that made me cringe so hard every time it happened and that happens a lot so if you're gonna read this book just be prepared for that and the second thing is this book is torture to death slow but the relationship bit is so nice that you're gonna forget all the flaws which happened with me while i was reading this book because i planned on reading this 4.25 but then my mind kept on working that this book was a really nice read. I had a good time reading this book and I was totally engaged in this one. So my mind just wasn't ready to accept it as less than a five star read. So I rated it five stars and I don't regret it now or something. But after this book, I immediately jumped to the second book, which is To Hate Adam Connor. And this book left such a sore taste in my mouth one more thing about this book and the other of course these books are open door but so so good but then again if you don't read those types of books then you may not like it because that is a major chunk of this book after the romance has built up but there is more to the romance so it's not just that so you will like it i highly recommend this book just skip those parts if you don't like. So next book is To Hate Adam Connor. I don't even know where to start to bash about this book. So this is basically Olive's best friend Lucy's love story with another actor who becomes a neighbor to Jason. He is Adam Connor. She kind of spies Adam from Jason's house and lands in trouble and then they kind of get introduced and are falling for each other it is very basic and not fun after reading the first book i would say let's talk about the things that i did like like they were olive and jason <laughs> it was fine up till like she's her best friend they are gonna come along but it happens a lot so it confused me while jumping to first and second book that this is Lucy's story so I don't think that making Olive and Jason a huge part of the plot really did a good job by distinguishing these books and it also kind of took away from the plot made the plot even more slow to begin with and that was not what I was expecting in her story because they were kind of strong characters in the first book but then it got like very repeated and stuff also like in the first book Jason called Olive my little one. In this book, Lucy calls Olive my little green olive. Like, what is with Ella Mays and nicknames? Ew, I was cringing so hard at those moments. This book, to be honest, felt like the copy of the first book, but worse. The writing got L. Kennedy vulgar and it was the same old thing. You falling for the hot actor and he thinking 
the same about you it was shown much better in the first book but this book was pure lust in some moments i really laughed out loud and there were things about parenthood which were described really really nicely but the story wasn't engaging so i could only get to the first third of this book i really tried to read it firstly because i loved the first book and i expected more especially when people loved this book better and secondly because i wanted to talk about this book maybe if i picked it after a break from the first book but if there is a series like you kind of want to jump to the second book as soon as you finish the first book i don't know what happened but this book was not it it didn't do well for me like first book was so surprisingly nice but second one felt the same old pattern again and it happens i know in series that the second book is always or more likely to be digressing this was my review for love and hate series by ella mays and i hope you guys were helped in deciding if you want to pick these books if they align with your taste all right i'll see you guys in my next video until then goodbye